Hello guys, I'm excited to announce a new tutorial series in which you will learn Kotlin. In my opinion, every Android developer and especially every new Android developer should know Kotlin nowadays. And I will explain why I think that in this video. So this series is especially for complete Android newbies or also for, for complete programming newbies and also for those who know Java and want to switch to Kotlin now. So I will explain every feature of Kotlin that I think is very important for Android development so that you know after that series everything you need to know to start with Android programming and become better and better. So what is special about this series is that I will try to upload a video every two days so you don't have to wait weeks for me to upload a new video because I think that wouldn't make much sense because when you want to learn programming you have to constantly learn and you don't learn by having two week breaks between videos because you will forget everything that uh, what we made in the last video so this is why I want to upload the Kotlin videos very frequently. Secondly I will give you a homework after every video because I think that this is the only way you will really learn a programming language if you try out stuff by yourself and if you have a task you work on your own. So I thought it would be really helpful for you if I gave you an easier version of a homework and a harder version after every video. So you can first try out the easier homework to get some successful experiences and after that you can try out the harder one. You should really do these two homeworks every video because I think the only way you will really learn programming is by doing and trying out things on your own. Also if you aren't able to do one of the homeworks or both don't worry because in every video I will explain the homeworks of the last video in very detail. Alright, so why should you choose Kotlin over Java for Android development? Even though Google said that Java is still a fully supported language for Android development, as you can read here, today we are announcing another big step. Android development will become increasingly Kotlin first. And that is also what I realized. Even though there are much more learning resources for Java at the moment, I realized that let's say 80% of the newcoming learning resources are in Kotlin because Android developers realize how awesome Kotlin is. So if you want to stay up with native Android development, you should know Kotlin because Google will publish its learning resources in Kotlin first and also most of the other learning resources will be in Kotlin too. Now I will go through the features of Kotlin and explain why I think that Kotlin is better than Java. So if you've never programmed before, you don't have to understand them in detail. So this is more for those of you who know Java a little bit and want to know why I think that Kotlin is better than Java. Also, always keep in mind that this is only my opinion. If you like Java more and you think that Java is the future of Android, then that's of course completely fine. The first special thing about Kotlin is null safety. So if you come from Java, you will probably know null pointer exceptions. They occur when you set an object to null and for example call a method on it, then your program will crash. However, in Kotlin this can't happen because of null safety. Null safety means that Kotlin code won't even compile if you want to access a method on a null object. So your program won't crash because of that. And null pointer exceptions are the most common type of exception in Java. So you prevent a lot of crashes if you switch to Kotlin. That doesn't mean that you cannot set objects to null in Kotlin. Instead, you have to explicitly create objects that are nullable. And if you want to access them, you have to check before if that object is null and you also don't have to do that with an if statement as you would have to do it in Java. Instead Kotlin provides very helpful operators for that that make those checks very easy. Also if you don't want to leave all the cool Java libraries available out there 
then you don't have to worry because Kotlin compiles to the same bytecode as Java does, which means that you can use every Java library available in Kotlin and every Kotlin library available in Java. So that is another really cool feature about Kotlin and makes Kotlin a perfect language for Android development because the two main languages for native Android are Java and Kotlin and they work together perfectly. And the third cool feature of Kotlin are coroutines that aren't available for Java. So if you come from Java, you can think of coroutines as lightweight threads that are very performant and make it very easy to delay your code. And you can also do so much cool stuff with coroutines, but you don't have to understand them for now because that's a rather advanced topic and I will cover it later in this series. So don't worry if you don't get, up, get what I just said. Finally, Kotlin code is way more compact than Java code. So if you have a function in Java and you code that same function in Kotlin with the same functionality, then in most cases you have to write a lot less in Kotlin because Kotlin has many cool functions that aren't available in Java that make your code very short. So to finish this video off, I will show you some code examples of Java and of Kotlin to demonstrate you that Kotlin code is in most of the times much shorter than Java code. So if you come from Java, you will maybe understand some of the code examples, what they do. But if you're a complete newbie, these examples aren't about any functionality you have to understand. Instead, just focus on how much shorter the Kotlin code is for things that you need to do very often in programming. So the first example is about creating objects. In Java, you have to type the whole class name two times and also the new keyword to instantiate an object. While in Kotlin, you can simply write var my class and then set that to your class. So you have to type the class name only one time and you don't need a new operator. And as you see, you don't have to finish your lines with a semicolon too. So when it comes to setting on click listeners on buttons in Android development, then the Java code for that looks so complex in comparison to the Kotlin code. As you see, in Kotlin, you don't even have to instantiate your views with find view by ID. Instead, you can just call it immediately, immediately with its ID. I want to conclude with an example that demonstrates what you need to do in each language to delay your code for one second. So you simply want to print something after one second has passed. In Java, you have to create a thread for that. Inside of the thread, you have to create a new runnable. And inside of that runnable, you have to make a try block because a thread can um, throw an interrupted exception if you call the sleep method on that. And after that, you can print something out. And you also have to start the thread. So you have to do so much in Java to delay your code for one second while you can just launch a coroutine in Kotlin that does the same in only four lines, which is really awesome about Kotlin. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope I could convince you that Kotlin is a very awesome language and much cooler than Java. And please tell me in the comments what you think about Kotlin. I would love to read that. And I hope I see you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye bye.